Yes, good luck with that. Now, if the rumours are to be believed, Mel B's back in the studio rehearsing. Victoria has opted out, but she's given her blessing. And Jerry, Emma, Mel C and Mel B are set to follow in the footsteps of Cher, Britney and Elton, apparently, and take up residency in Las Vegas. Here, telling us the truth behind that story. Let, I hope it's true. It's Emma Bunton. <laughs> And There's everything. some cheeky boys in that there audience, is. isn't there? Yeah. Very good. Well, have you seen them all? Miss, Mrs. Yeah, Burns do you like to be Miss, Miss Bunton? Miss. Miss. But I, I was thinking about this. My little boy the other day called me Emma. He's three years old. Oh. I'm not happy with that. I'm like, I'm mummy to you. Yeah. So I <laughs> Well, I was saying earlier, wasn't I, that when, when I was a child, when you went to a friend's house, it was always Mr. and Mrs. whoever. Yes. And Jack's friends all call me by my Christian name, and so does he. With, and I, that took a bit of getting used to for me. Yeah, you know, yeah. They come and go, hi, Ruth. And I want to go, oh, it's Mrs. Holmes to you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but even now, when I see teachers, like, I still call them, you know. Miss. Yes. Miss Hunt. Yeah. Oh, hi, Miss Hunt. Oh, you know, yeah. whoever it was. So, yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. But you're just Emma, you're just baby spice. Just to us. Oh, so still. People still say baby spice. Um not so much mm. actually, but uh, I don't mind it. I generally think, and I have said this before, I think I got quite lucky with my name. Yes. 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 Because you, it kind of stays around, baby, and I don't mind that so yeah. much. I think mm. I would have yeah, a bit worried a bit more if I was scary. Sporty, or sporty. sporty. Yeah, yeah when you're you have to 75. Keep up with that. <laughs> <laughs> She's what? watching, actually. Hi. Hello, Hi, Mel. <laughs> um, what about the rumours? Because we keep reading, you know, we, keep, we saw a picture of Victoria yes. singing with a microphone on top of a piano. It was in Singapore, I think. Yes. And Mel's back in the studio in America. And then we heard these rumours that, oh, there's this residency in Las Vegas, which is very popular with big stars. Mm. So you go and do six months or a year. Yeah. So yeah, come on, I you're here, it's live. Is it true? No, it's not oh. true. Oh. I know. Oh. I keep <laughs> these rumours as well and uh, the thing is no that one is not true that uh, we you know love being together and and hanging out but it's no there's nothing in the pipeline as yet I'm afraid so so you that wouldn't is think no -no. doing the big reunion three then yeah. <laughs> no I don't you think so a, you wouldn't do a tour with a cardboard cut out for Victoria uh, no no we wouldn't no <laughs> but, it, but it's always kind of mooted that it's Victoria that's the one that's saying no because I'm too busy with my fashion is it her that stops no all, all of, of us all of us have kind of especially you know my little one is still only three years old I can't be going off on tour you know and, and doing stuff and and, you and are all doing your individual we're careers, all doing individual you? things yeah. yeah I mean I'm you know on radio every single morning so you know you yeah. just it's just not feasible at the so moment. that's you've brought that very cleverly round <laughs> to Heart <laughs> FM so if you live in London you have heard Emma on, on the breakfast show but now this is going nationwide isn't absolutely it? we this launched week. just last week actually uh, to Scotland and Wales and the north so we really are nationwide now and actually you know the number one commercial Radio. So it's been very exciting to be part of that. I do a Saturday show um, from 5 till 7, which is full of just, you know, club kind of dancey, fun it's music. Getting ready to get go out music. Getting you ready. I, no, what no, time no, do you get no, up? 5 p.m. on a Saturday, I do. Oh, right, 5 okay. p.m. on what a time Saturday. What do you get up in the morning? Seven. In the mornings, I have to get up at about 5 o'clock a.m. when I do breakfast. Oh, yeah. Show. How yeah. do you do it? Well, the kids, the night feeds the now kids aren't it. even awake, which yeah. is like, so I'm up before them. And uh, But I love it. I love off for two hours with Jamie Thiexon. You know, I've always fancied him a bit. Have you? <laughs> oh, he's a good-looking man, isn't he? He is. <laughs> but, Emma, you're doing a live show, and yes. so, you, you, like this show, you have to constantly be vigilant the whole time that you, you do, don't, don't you? put your foot in it, yes. say something that can be misinterpreted. How often does that happen? It happens a lot, actually. <laughs> it does happen a lot. I have been in trouble a few times uh, for you know, nearly saying things. Mm. But, you know, it's just because it's live and you have to be honest and open and, you know, but you've got to kind of go radio as well as you can turn up in your pyjamas oh, and not wash your hair. Yeah. And... I was just saying that before. Like, I literally get up at five o'clock, grab my jeans, yeah. you know, grab a top, <laughs> smell, no, that's fine, that's clean. <laughs> and I'm not, you know, I don't believe that for a minute, do you? <laughs> no. She's no. not wearing dirty clothes. <laughs> not do you. you not do, like, a webcam thing? No. Because I know sometimes not really yet, quiet. Don't put that on in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want that in their minds. No, we don't do that yet. But it's, you know, you get to chat to, you know, the, the audience. You get loads of texts and emails at but each time. But you've, got to, you've got to give a bit back, haven't you? It's, it's like the show. You've got to talk about your life. And I always think, particularly if you're asking, 
Jane, your listeners, you know, tell us about your life. What do you think about this? You can't then not give a bit of yourself. Absolutely. So was that strange for you? Because I'm sure you're used to the press of holding stuff that back. That is over so the years. different for me because, as you just said, in my years of being, you know, with the Spice Girls, you kind of hold that back a bit. Mm. But actually, it's been quite a relief to just go, yeah, I'm a mum. I've got two kids. Yeah, I'm but tired. What about talking about your partner? Do you say things, and when you come back, he says, "I wish you." Yes, said I that. do. <laughs> I do. We were talking about man spanks once, and I <laughs> jokingly, it was a joke. I said, "Oh yeah, my other half tried them." He went mad because. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. God, it's really, really cool. cool. Oh, no, he well, is listen, really Emma's cool. already told us that she wears dirty clothes, so that's <laughs> fine. You heard it here first. And she's staying with us for the rest of the show, so we're going to get all sorts of gossip uh -oh. out of her. I want all the gossip about Victoria's birthday okay. party. Oh, yes. dying to know yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. Also, we want to ask you if you've ever used a sunbed. Don't answer that now, because we're talking about tanning salons. Would you, have you, could you, should you? See you after this. <laughs> Welcome back. It's lovely to have your company this afternoon. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, you may have heard earlier uh, we announced the very sad news that uh, Stephen Sutton, 19-year-old young man who was suffering from bowel cancer, sadly passed away in the early hours of this morning. But we can bring you some lovely news because his mother had talked about how all your support with his Just Giving page has really helped him in his final days. Since we have been on air, that uh, fundraising page has gone up by £20,000. <laughs> So, um, what, what an incredible legacy for that young man to leave behind. And you can still donate. That's on Just Giving. Um, Emma, terribly sad. Oh, uh, absolutely. And I think the, the thing is, just, he's so inspirational, I think you were saying earlier, to put so much effort and energy into raising money. At, you know, he went, as he was so ill, it's just, you know, so commendable. Amazing, amazing. Well, we've got um, a few emails have come in. Beryl has just emailed saying, what an inspiration he was to all of us. God bless him and give him eternal rest. What wonderful parents he had to produce such a caring and loving son. Mm -hmm. My heartfelt love and sympathy goes out to them. Well, I think you uh, obviously echo everything that we're all thinking today, Beryl. So thank you very much for that. OK, time now for your chance to win a fantastic £31,000 in cash. Not even a question to answer. Here at Loose Women, we love to give away some top treats. Yes, this series alone, we've given away four cars, four holidays, and over £400,000 in cash. This week is no exception. You could get your hands on £31,000 in tax-free cash. That's like having £1,000 for each day in May. For your chance to bank a huge £31,000, then all you have to do is... Call 09041 61 1000. Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Text WIN to 65029. Text costs £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. You can also enter for free at the website. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 5pm on Sunday the 18th of May will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. Yeah, have a go at that. Um, now, we've got Emma Bunton with us today. We couldn't let her go without asking you about Victoria's 40th birthday party because <laughs> we were very, we were gutted that none of us were invited. Uh, <gasps> gutted. Oh, I know. It was so, great. what was it like? It was great fun. Really, really good fun. It was nice to catch up with the girls and, yeah, it was I can't lovely. believe any of the Spice Girls are 40. <gasps> Have you seen that pic? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we do. Oh, my goodness. It just shows... It shows all of us that you like all of us, you know? <laughs> had there, like, had there been a few little sweet sherries partaken there definitely up there? definitely been a few sherries, yeah. And um, it was, yeah, Victoria tweeted that the next day. I was like, <gasps> mortified. <laughs> no, but it was such good fun. And, uh, yeah, me and Mel C, there was, an, there was actually me and Mel C left together and there was a few pictures of us. We... Holding each other up. Yes, <laughs> yes. But, you know... But Colleen was saying yesterday, just blame your high heels. Yeah. Well, I wasn't drunk. It was just exactly. my heels. It, it, it was. It really was. Gordon Ramsay's funny hair. He had 
that strange. I, I, I saw pictures of that the next day and I didn't notice that at all. I thought it was. That was the oh, I honestly oh, didn't. Oh, I honestly did not notice not seen that the at all. You haven't yeah. seen this new He haircut. had a kind of shaven bit at the bottom of his head. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Maybe chipmunks have been gnawing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I want to. Ask... I had to go to work the next morning after that party. Oh. Straight into heart breakfast. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm not sure how I kept it together. Jamie obviously drove, drove a bit yeah. more that yeah. day. Yeah. Day. <laughs> That's why it's lovely to have a co-presenter, isn't exactly. it? You hold. Now, I said before the break, have you ever used some beds? No, well, of years and years ago, but apps not for years, because obviously, you know, you, you kind of now have learnt about the dangers. Well, the I reason... am such a do-it-myself girl. Yeah, love... which is good. We can do that. The reason I'm asking you that uh, it's been revealed today in a report that Liverpool has some of the highest rates of skin cancer in the country, apparently. And it's also a city where some bed use is much higher than the UK average. But the city council is saying that trying to police all these sunbed salons is actually very difficult. Half the time they don't know where they all are. And it's those salons, often unmanned, that according to MPs should actually be banned. Is that taking it a bit far to, to ban them? It's hard, isn't it? Because obviously the can cause cancer, skin cancer. It can lead to, but then so can so many other things. Smoking can lead to, drinking can lead to. Do we ban everything? It's it's really it's really hard to know where the line may be. For, for me, I hammered some beds until up to about four years ago, and unfortunately for me, it took a real shock to my system for me to stop. And that was when I got diagnosed with a BRCA gene. And it was only then when my health was compromised with the breasts and the ovaries was then I worried about other types of cancer. So then I stopped the sunbeds, but if it wasn't for that, I probably would have carried on. But they reckon that people under 35 using sunbeds for the first time increase their chances of getting a melanoma by 60%. That's a so lot, that's not a little it? amount, yeah, that's no, a huge a amount. Did you ever use them in your youth? No, I didn't, but I've had, I had a friend die of skin cancer last year, uh, a wonderful interior designer called David Collins, and I just couldn't believe it that between the diagnosis of skin cancer and his death was three weeks. Three and weeks. if that is not a warning, about and was he, did he use them all the he time? He didn't right? use sunbeds at all. But I just think the sun is more powerful than you think. We should be wearing uh, sun it's protection sun and putting going on a sunbed is just. But when you, do, you know, Emma, when you were in the Spice Girls and Michelle, of course, when you were performing, you're always being photographed. Do you not feel better when you've got a bit of a tan? Oh. Most people say, I just feel better. Yeah, but like Emma said, you know, like. It's, it's, when, you, when you stop with the sunbeds, you just fake tan it, and it looks just as good, if not better, because then, think... then you can do all the defining stuff. Mm. Yeah. We're talking of spray tans. We had some victims <laughs> we grabbed in our audience today to have a spray tan. So here they are all coming in today, <laughs> Look, having their faces done. Oh, that always makes me I feel like I can't breathe when they're You're doing that. You're doing that. Face. Look at that. Oh, Notice. you yeah. are evil. Oh, Look how quick that is. Look, zhush, 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 and where are they? Where are our bronze goddesses and oh, gods? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So of course you... they got bronze. They knew, <laughs> they knew the one meeting Emma. They wanted to look good. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy the experience? Was it all right? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so would you you'd rather do that than go on a sunbed? Yes. That's quick. Yes. Yeah. It's safer. Yeah. It actually looks really natural as well, I think. The thing is, you see, I... Even though I know... All the interviews I've done over the years, all the reports I've read, I'm still tempted because I am very pale skinned and when I go on holiday I burn. And when I was younger, I would go and have some beds. I didn't do like you say hammer it, but before <laughs> I was going away somewhere, if I was going to a wedding, I'd maybe have two or three. And I always use that excuse like it's good. It's giving me a bit of a base tan mm. and I don't burn. And I still, despite all these figures, like you said, you're raising your chances mm. Of, mm. of skin cancer by sixty five percent. I still see that and think but there's I have no a little Cheeky couple there's before no I go. nowadays with all the fake tan that's out there that is yeah, actually so, so easy to do. Mm. All there's salons where you can go and have it professionally done and all that. Pity me, Ruth. I'm I always allergic. Pity you, darling. Well, yeah. for other reasons, I'll give you some more reasons to pity <laughs> me one. now. Yeah, not for one. For the couple. <laughs> you ready? Get you ready? Get your yeah. violin out. Right. I'm allergic to the sun. Are you? Oh. Oh. Are you? But well, wait for it. I'm also allergic to fake tan. Oh. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes. What happens when you put fake tan on? I look like the elephant woman. So do you come out and... I get lumps everywhere and itch and I just look hid... Not those kind of lumps. <laughs> I've got those lumps. Those lumps are natural. That's a hell of an allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
something in all fake tans? Every fake tan. It's the one ingredient in all fake tans. Oh my God. Yeah, and I used sunbeds once in my life, and it burnt me, and I looked like I'd been sunbathing in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> Right, all down my back. Oh, I'm so attractive. Oh, lovely. I'm leaving with that picture of mine, but we would love to say Heart <laughs> FM, don't forget Emma and Jamie on The Breakfast Show, but it's lovely to see you, baby it's spice. Lovely to see Emma you. Bunting. Thank you, and thank you for your company today. That is it for today, though. Uh, tomorrow, Carol, Jane and Nadia are all going to be here. Plus, we've got Dancing on Ice judge Karen Barber is on the panel for the day tomorrow. And their guest is Stephen Mangan. Hope you have a great afternoon. Girls here, live tomorrow, 12.30. Bye-bye. <laughs>